mindful of our responsibilities to each other. In the heat of market activity leading up to the financial crisis, many market participants chose to forget or simply ignore the limitations of ratings. Some were simply unaware, and we, the rating agencies, did not do enough to highlight the limitations of our product, nor flesh out fully the rationale for our opinions. However, ratings can and should provide a robust, forward-looking indication of relative credit risk. As you'll be aware, in recent years, credit rating agencies have experienced considerable negative publicity and often been uh, the subject of very disparate views. Soon after the financial crisis back in 2007, the mistakes present in many risk models for structured products exacerbated the effects of the financial collapse in 2008. Since 2008, steps have been taken to improve the transparency and regulation with respect to rating of structured products. Ratings agencies now post underlying data on public websites, allowing other agencies and individual investors to run their own analysis. Special data, specialty data providers have emerged to offer additional perspective on the risk inherent in some of the highly specialized forms of credit. The ratings agencies have continued to refine their own models and created specialized teams that focus on structured products. They have also tightened their conflict policies with respect to risk analysis. I think you've heard that, some of that today already. And I expect as structured finance continues to grow, the agencies will refine their own ability to provide investors with timely and relevant risk assessment tools. We're now going to make a... We, like others, did not anticipate the U.S. housing downturn, which led to the financial crisis. But with the exception of our ratings on U.S. mortgage-related securities, our ratings have performed as expected. Comparable, transparent, and forward-looking ratings serve the capital markets by contributing to their efficiency and stability. But while ratings are important, they're certainly not the only source of information available to the credit markets. Investors draw on many different sources, including their own analysis, other research houses, and local rating agencies.